Hey, 4xE fans, let's talk about the Max Regen gas pedal remapping. If you don't know this about the 4xE, the accelerator pedal, I guess we shouldn't call it a gas pedal, I guess we should call it an accelerator pedal because it would only be a gas pedal when the uh, gas engine is running. So we're going to call it Max Regen accelerator pedal remapping. So if you aren't familiar with this, uh, this is something good to know because a lot of people feel like Max Regen is very jerky and that's only if you lift your foot all the way off the accelerator pedal. So uh, the way to think about this, if this is the accelerator pedal and this is the, uh, I don't know how to draw this. If this is the zero point where it is at its absolute all the way highest point, when you are not using max regen, this is what it looks like. Well, actually, we'll put that at the top. We'll say this is the top point at which the accelerator pedal just naturally sits. And then as you push it, you go from zero to, we'll say, 100%, since that's like, that just seems like a smart thing, to, way to do this. And if you turn on max regen, though, however, it changes that... Um, zero point to down just a little bit and it's only like an inch or something from the top this becomes your new zero point this becomes i'm just going to throw a, an arbitrary number on it because i don't i don't know what degree it is or anything but we'll say this is negative 10 and this is still 100 percent throttle um that little part in there is a place where you can vary the amount of region when your max regen is turned on and this is also that spot where you can remove that jerkiness and you can actually decelerate more efficiently in that space if you retrain your foot a little bit to not just lift off the accelerator pedal but to ease into that spot between zero and one and you can't feel this this isn't anything you can feel but if you look at the little gauge on the right side of your dash cluster and experiment with this a little bit, you can feel this. You can, you can feel the variance in the amount of regenerative deceleration that is going on in that space. And instead of going straight to 100% regen, you can vary it into like half that amount. And so if you find yourself, you know, if you find yourself in a city situation, where you're stopping and going and stopping and going yeah you might want to lift your foot all the way and go max region all the way but if you're in a rural area and you're slowing down for you know in traffic or you're slowing down on the highway or whatever you can vary that amount know though that anywhere in this space that your brake light might not fire so your vehicle can be slowing down but your brake light is not going to turn on until it gets to that max point. If you're varying that, then you're going to slow down possibly slower than cars behind you. And uh, that can, I don't know, that shouldn't create any issues because people should be paying attention. But just know that you may not be sending your, uh, your brake light out there. And the only reason I've been able to see that, I've got a little third uh, brake light indicator on my roll bar and I can watch this and I can see, oh, that car is getting close. Let me go ahead and lift my foot up or let me go ahead and throw my foot on the brake to, uh, to give them a brake light and let them know that I'm slowing down. But I just wanted to uh, talk about that Max Regen accelerator pedal remapping, how that works, because uh, that's just not something that I think gets talked about enough. Thanks for watching.